President Goodluck Jonathan is the winner of the Nigerian presidential election. Officials of the country's independent National Electoral Commission declared late Monday. Mr. Jonathan garnered 22.5 million votes, nearly twice the number of his nearest competitor, former military ruler Mohamedou Buhari. Now, President Jonathan avoided a runoff by winning at least 25% of the vote in at least 24 states. The provision is meant to ensure that the Nigerian president has some support nationally and is not just a regional candidate. Riots erupted in the mainly Muslim north to protect Mr. Jonathan's victory, but Jonathan says he will work to ensure the safety of all Nigerians. It is on this note that I am greatly pained at the reports of incidences of unnecessary violence and loss of lives in some parts of the country over the past 24 hours. I want to assure all Nigerians that government will take all necessary measures to guarantee the security of the lives and property of all Nigerians. As we've mentioned, President Jonathan's win sparked violence across Nigeria's northern region. The Nigerian Red Cross estimates that more than 270 people have been wounded and another 15,000 displaced by the rioting. Joining us on the phone from Nigeria is VOA's Chinidu Ofu. Chinidu, what is the situation right now, especially as far as security is concerned? Well, Vincent, I am in Enugu. Enugu is in the southeast, in Enugu State, and uh, it has the largest concentration of Nigerian of northern extraction in the southeast. Security is tight. Uh, police are guarding the residents and businesses of uh, police, uh, our Nigerian brothers and sisters. And thus far, no violence, everything appears peaceful. We hope everything's going to be fine. Now, uh, just briefly, give us a sense of what is the significance of the election of uh, President uh, Goodluck Jonathan? A significant uh, on so many levels. On a personal level, this is the first election that uh, Goodluck Jonathan has won on his own merit. Secondly, he appears to have uh, gotten uh, national acceptance and national uh, capital. And uh, this is about the first Nigerian head of state from the South South Pole in Nigeria, a region that has such a wide acceptance despite the gentleman's agreement in the ruling party and partially with it between the North and the South. Now, Chidadu, given that he has been there, of course, serving the term of the previous president, what are some of the challenges that he faces, uh, things that the citizenry is going to be closely watching uh, him and demanding that he does? The first challenge is uh, what we have already addressed, and that is the security situation. And we think in a precarious security problem up north and also in the Niger Delta area with militants. Also, uh, the power sector. That is what is driving the economy, and that is what is building jobs in Nigeria, and that gives rise to a lot of them. So, he's facing a type of power problem so that industry can start and also give employment to uh, a lot of uh, idle Nigerians who can be used to cross mischief. Uh, very briefly, uh, some say that perhaps uh, having lost a little bit as a party, uh, the PDP, him as president becomes stronger because he's, he's got a kind of a national consensus. That's correct, uh, but also the PDP can pass itself on the back as uh, the first Nigerian political party to organize a free and fair, at least internationally accepted fair and fair election. But it also realizes that uh, not all Nigerians are happy with its policies, and hopefully, and then Jonathan will address that with some of the policies that he's going to implement. Well, thank you very much. Chinidu, thanks a lot for that election update. VOS Chinidu 4 reporting from Nigeria.